and welcome to Cookies Fishing Capers and today I'm carp fishing um, I'm afraid I couldn't get on the river today it is absolutely flooding everywhere from Shrewsbury Bridge North it's maybe three to four meters up from what it usually is it's pretty pretty bad so of course I've decided to come carp fishing I'm on the BAA water here at Nordley um, as some of my old subscribers know this is one of my old haunts I have to stress folks this is not a runs water uh, nothing of the sort if you get one or two carp here you've had a good day um, I'm going to be largely fishing margin um, put one rod to my if I'm facing out one to the right one to my left my left hand rod if I'm being honest is the rod I think I'm probably gonna get more action on but who knows um, as I say it's not a runs water it is one of you know it's one or two fish and you've done well this is my boom just on a light two ounce lead and as you can see I've got a stick mix with my PVA mesh with my chickpeas let's hope we can uh, catch a carp today it is going to be quite a nice day for October uh, contrary to all the rain we've had recently today is supposed to be about 14 15 degrees which isn't very warm till the to employ other subscribers around the world but in October that's not bad for the UK so anyway let's get straight into this and I'll catch up in a bit show you where I've put my left hand rod I've just put it just in front of these bushes here just tight up into the bushes around this area here I'm going to put some chickpeas around that area um, I've got it quite tight that's the orange chickpeas I have got some red chickpeas I'm gonna try stupidly I only did a few of them I don't know why so uh, I'll see how they end up. Here is my second rod. That's on a bigger hook to be honest. It's more the fact that I've just have made one of these rigs up already. Two red chickpeas. There you go. And I've got it in the mesh. I've got chickpeas to that side but I've kept the stick mix that side so I can push it through so there won't be any chickpeas stuck on the hook. Just um, the stick mix. And that's going to go to my right hand uh, side here again I'm just going to fish the margins at this stage and just see how the day goes so on my second rod I know this sounds really weird but the second peg to me on the right hand side is quite close and um, I fished this it wasn't like this the peg wasn't like this back the last time I fished this but um, just in front of this peg it drops down to about four to five foot about three years ago I had a really nice mirror there I just fed the area up they seem to patrol around this area a lot just there is an outlet to pull to so a lot of the water gets drawn and the food gets drawn into that area so I will be concentrating my right hand rod in this area I'm going to start here first so I've only parked it about two meters two or three meters from the side I'm going to put some chickpeas around it and uh, yeah we, we shall see on the BAA pools in Nordley you park your cars at the top there and then you've got pool one just at the top just trying to point that out just in front of the car park and as you come back you come into pool two now pool one if you guys like match fishing and catching good sized perch big bream Roach, there's the odd carp left in there, but not many. Most of the carp have come out of pool one now and into pool two. The left hand rod has had a couple of little tiny liners, so there's definitely fish in that area. The right hand rod has had a little tap as well, so there's definitely fish in the area. That's the good news. What I've been watching as well is where the line joins into the water. Well, sometimes you don't see this when you've got your bobbins on. I've watched occasionally the line just go out and in which is normally a, a good indication that there are fish in that area. So yeah I've put a few orange chickpeas around that one. Well we're into a car for the left hand rod. Oh it's gone. So it looks like the guy opposite me has just hit into one on his feeder rod, I think, on his left hand rod. Yeah, he has. Good on him. 
I was just about to say, just in front of me, about 20 yards right in the middle, huge carp came up. It's the first fish I've seen come off today and looks like he's about to get it in. Good on him. So, um, the guy over the side called me over to take a photo of the fish. It ends up being someone I actually uh, I've met here before, uh, Steve. Um, just weighed in 18 pounds, I think it was 10 ounces. Don't quote me on that, but um, a very nice fish indeed. And um, yeah, he's having them in the sunshine, right on the opposite bank, right tucked in to where the roots are to an old tree. So uh, yeah, I've seen Steve here before and he's a very good fisherman. Sometimes you have to say fair play. I'm going to be honest, I made sure I got it this time. <laughs> Smallest one. <laughs> I reckon it's the smallest calf in here. <laughs> you won't be much off it, you know. Well, I reckon it's the smallest fish carp in here. <laughs> Honestly, I've never had a, a carp this small in here before, but I'll take it. Beautiful mirror carp though, and he's very angry. And uh, good grief. So there we have it. I don't think I can even give him four pounds, to be honest. But a beautiful fish, nevertheless. And a fish is a fish, as a lot of you have said before, it's true. So, uh, catch me a bit. One of the best ways, I think, of carp fishing is this way, really. So I've got one set up already. I've took the link off there, like that. Just show you. So there you can see, I can replace it with another boom that I've already got set up, a bit like Blue Peter, one I made up earlier. Swap them over. And hey presto, you've got another chickpea special. So I'm making sure again that I've got this fish on before I come on to you, but yes. Left rod again. And the chickpeas, I think it's a bit bigger than the last one. <laughs> well, we'll see. So this fish is a bit bigger than I said. I'd say he's only about 10 pounds, but he's very wild. So that's about as best look as I'm going to be able to give you. But he's about 10 pounds. Common carp. It's a shame his dorsals got the same colouring as his as his scales. Put some damage treatment on his mouth. It looks like he's got a bit of a cut lip there, so I'll get him sorted and put him right back. Catch him in a bit. For those of you who know it as Nordly pools, um, traditionally pools, certainly one and two, were very tough to fish, but I found out today they've put 40, you know I had that smaller carp earlier, but they've put 40 smaller carp into the pool. I thought it was strange, I've never had anything that small out of here in my lifetime. 
so yeah um, overall I can't grumble I haven't blanked um, but to find that out was very interesting and uh, Steve had shown me some photos because he's fished this more than I have this year I, <laughs> but he showed me some uh, photos of some of the fish that come out over the course of this year and there's been some nice fish out of here um, very 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 interesting to be honest um, there was a fish that I was after in pool one and I'll tell you why I know it's that fish it's got a blonde head believe it or not half it's two-tone and the top half of it was blonde now when it used to be in that pool you could see it in the sunshine his head stood out like a sore thumb it's over 20 pounds that that fish Steve's had him out right over there in the summer or early spring I'm not sure exactly when it was caught but as soon as he said it I said that's out of pool one I, that's how much I know the fish out of these pools certainly into in pool two and I definitely remember that one in pool one so uh, I think there's been a head of I can't be sure if it's 19 or 21 of carp have been put in from one into two and they, I think the biggest in there was probably that blonde one, which I mentioned to you earlier, which is weird, I'm talking about a fish here, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm the only one here. I'm gonna give it another half an hour to an hour, just before it goes dark. I haven't got my headlamp, so I can't stop out too long. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it another try, see if I can get something a bit bigger, show you guys how big some of the fish are. Um, as I say, I, I took a photograph of Steve's earlier. That was a, a really nice fish, that was, an 18-pounder. Um, so for you guys who haven't been here before, you know, it is a, it's very, very interesting. I, I, I used to fish this when it was a lot tougher, believe me. There was a big fish just top right at the back there. I don't know if you got that on video, but uh, right where Steve was sitting. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Catch you in a bit. So I am the very last person here on both pools now. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna see it out. I'm, I'm gonna give it another half an hour. As soon as it starts going dark, I've already took the shelter down to my left hand side now. But I've put the right hand rod a little bit further out towards the reeds over there. I'll put this one over here. And uh, Let's see how we get on. Um, be nice to get something a bit bigger, wouldn't it? It's so just a little game before the end of the session. Right, so right hand rod is over there. As you know, it's had no activity. On orange chickpeas. Left hand rod has had activity two fish and lost one the question I've got for you is you've got three choices will I catch on my right hand rod catch on my left hand rod before I go or will that be it send you messages see you in a bit our folks you can still see me as my fellow subscribers would say it's very unusual because normally at the end of my videos you can hardly see me um, and the answer to the competition was I didn't catch in the last 25 minutes unfortunately the two rods are still there but unfortunately neither rod has gone I've not had a tap so I've quite enjoyed today um, I would have not I would have liked a, a bigger fish I'm not gonna lie but Catching is catching, isn't it? So, if you like what you've seen, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, smash up the subscribe. Thanks for watching.